Hi guys. Hope you're all okay. Susie here. Just um, I've just made some fish pie for dinner. It's um, cooling and then I'll pop it in the fridge until I need it. So I thought that I would make some melting moment biscuits for you. And I'll give you the recipe and you can have a go at making them yourself. So I'm just going to swish this round. Oh, no, it won't do that. Okay, so what I'll do is, there's the recipe there. Back to front, because I'm videoing it myself. What I'll do is I'll take a photograph of it and I'll put it on at the front of the video. Okay? So on the recipe, you will see that there is, um, it says lard or trex. So I wanted to show you what this is. Okay? Again, back to front, because I'm doing the video myself. But this is the packaging. You get it in where the lard and the margarine and the butter is in the supermarket. And I prefer to use it instead of lard for uh, these biscuits and for pastries, things like that. But you can use this or lard, whichever you've got. Okay? So, in here, I have got sugar, I've got some of the, the Trex, and I've got some margarine. Okay, and all I'm going to do is start mixing it together until there's no margarine treks or sugar by itself it's all going to be mixed up and creamed together okay i went and got myself a mixing bowl so you can actually see what i'm doing now in the videos instead of in the, the sort of the walk i was doing it in okay can we see it lovely so all we do is give that a mix together clean it together if you've got one of those electric whisk um, type things you can do that or you can do it in a big food mixer sometimes it's nice to to do things by hand right there we go okay so what else do we need we need oh wait a minute i need to get martin to get me Martin, can you go and look in the bag through there, the baking bag, and bring me the vanilla, please. Vanilla paste. Thank you. Right, here we go. So we have got, really, really simple, this recipe. It's kind of like a sponge. It's like a crunchy sponge. So we've got the sugar, the margarine, the lard of the Trex. Oh, one egg. Now, I rescued this egg. You see it? Before it falls out again. I rescued this egg because I dropped it earlier out of the egg bowl. I managed to catch it, so I took it, uh, cracked it into a bowl, and I kept it. And we need some surface and flour. Thank you. Two hundred and forty. Again, I'll put the recipe at the beginning, so you can see it. Okay. And then I've got this kind of vanilla, but if you've got vanilla essence or anything else, in fact, I haven't even put that on the recipe, so but I like it in it. So you can add some of that in. Okay, just a teaspoon. And that's it. So that is all the ingredients, except the only thing you'll need at the end, once we've done the mix it all together, is either some coconut or some porridge oats, okay? Oh, excuse that, that's my pressure cooker going off. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to mix all these ingredients together until they come together into a dough. Okay? So it's really, really simple and quick. I do like these, these buns. Now, when we come to shape them and put them into the coconut and the oats, the only thing that I don't have that I'm missing is a cherry to go on the top. Now, some of you like cherries, some of you don't. So you don't have to put it on, okay? Today I'm not because I don't have any. I do love cherries, but I don't have any, so. Right, so I'm going to keep mixing this together until it all comes together into a nice soft dough. And then I'll be back with you, okay? Okay, so, all mixed together. It's not, um not too firm if it is really really stiff and it doesn't um when you come to roll it in the the coconut or the oats um it doesn't stick to it then pop it back in the bowl and just add a tiny drop of water to it and mix it in again okay you want it to be a little bit sticky now i've got the oat the coconut and the oats today only to show you the work you can do with it 
you don't have to do both of them okay so if you've got coconut use that if you've got oats use that so I'm going to grab some of the dough roll it into a ball okay I think what size that is bigger than a cherry tomato smaller than a golf ball and about that size okay into the coconut roll it around okay so you can see what I'm doing. Roll it in the coconut, like that. Okay, and we're gonna pop it onto a tray. Now I've only got little baking trays this week, so I'm only going to maybe put, you know what size is it? It's a bit bigger than my, about as wide as my hand, a little bit longer. So I'm only gonna put three in it because I'd rather they didn't um, stick together because they will, will I try four? No, I'll try, I'll do three because they will um, spread out. Okay, what I'm gonna do very quickly, where did I put the scales, there they are. I'm just gonna quickly weigh one of these balls of dough to see, there we go, 35 grams. Okay, so if you weigh one at 35 grams and then you'll see what size it is. And then the other option, into the oats. Okay, roll it around. There we go. Okay, and that's your other option. So I'm going to go ahead and roll those out and then I can let you know how many I've made out of it. Okay, see you soon. Right guys, just before these go in the oven, I've discovered a better way than just rolling them if your dough's not so, so sticky. So what I've done is I've rolled the ball, okay, got the bowl of oats I'm going to put it in instead of rolling it around I'm going to gently press the cookie down okay it starts to flatten it out a little bit okay you can see okay then I'm just going to turn it over so the oats are on the top and again I'm just going to press it down gently with the back of my hand okay I don't know if you can see that I'll make it better okay and then I just flipped it over and did that. Okay. There we go. Then we can pop them in and pop them onto the tray. Now, when I said earlier about using cherries, this is the point where if you wanted to put cherry on top, it depends how much you like a cherry, you can put them on. If you don't like them, don't put them on. If you do like them, then you can just pop it in the middle. You can put a half or a quarter or whatever. Pop it in the middle and just press it down slightly and then pop it in the oven. So these are now going to go in the oven. That's all of them done and rolled out. I've done half coconut and half oats and I will see you back in a tick. Okay guys, that's been 15 minutes. So we're going to take a look at the biscuits. I think they will be ready. Okay, I forgot to say earlier, the oven was on at 175 degrees, but I've written that on to the, the recipe anyway. So you'll see that. So it's 15 minutes. Let's take a look. Remember, the oven's going to be hot when you take them out. Oh, sliding about on the tray. How good do they look? So that's the coconut ones. Okay. And here are the oaty ones. So if you don't like coconut, you can use oats. If you don't like oats, you can use coconut. Okay. Pop a cherry on top if you want. If you don't, you can leave it off. Up to yourselves. Okay. So we made, let's see, we've got some more in here. So four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 I got, around about 35 grams each. You don't need to weigh them, but it um, gives you an idea if you weigh the first one to see how, how big they are. Okay, so have a good day and I'll speak to you again. Bye.